Hello, I'm Maddie, and today I'm looking in the garden for two cats. Have you seen them anywhere? They're not under the tree, and they're not on their favourite spot on the fence. I know how we can find them. I wonder if they're hungry. Cats make great pets, don't they? The cats like to be outside in the garden, hiding and exploring, but there is something else they like. Lunch. What's this, ready, steady pop? What's that? This is Madison. And this is Malika. And there's something really clever that means the cats can come in and out of the house whenever they like. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a cat flap. It's like a little door just for cats. But do you know how a cat flap works? Let's find out. How does it work? A cat flap. To show you how a cat flap works, let's see if we can get Madison and Malika to use it. They like to sneak in and out throughout the day. So I'm going to set up two special cameras. One on the inside and one outside. They like to come out to play after they've had their lunch. Watch what happens. Our cameras are all set up. Oh look, here's Madison. Is she going to get through? Yes, she's in. Oh, that was fast, wasn't it? I tell you what, let's watch it again, this time in slow motion. Watch how Madison pushes it open with her nose. Did you hear the sound that the cat flap made when the door opened and closed? Listen again. It sounds like a click, doesn't it? flap opens like that for Madison and Malika but look what happens if I try to open it does it work no why do you think that is that's because this cat flap will only work for Madison and Malika but how does the cat flap know who they are it's because of this it's called a microchip and this a sensor on the cat flap let's see how it works both Madison and Malika had a microchip put underneath their fur by the vet. It didn't hurt them and it's very small so they can't feel it at all. Their microchips have the same special number on them. This number is also on the sensor inside the cat flap, so they match. When one of the cats goes up to their cat flap, the sensor inside scans the microchip by their neck just like how we scan our shopping at the supermarket checkout. When it sees there is a match, a small lock inside the cat flap is unlocked. So when they push the flap with their head, the flap swings open to let them through. The same happens when they want to come home. But the cat flap only opens for Madison and Malika. If any other cats come along, they can't get in because they don't have the same matching number. The microchip is tiny. It's only a bit bigger than a grain of rice. In fact, it's so small, I've got a special camera with me, a microscope, which will let us see it in close up. Oh, look at that. Isn't it incredible that something so tiny can open and close a cat flap? To show you what the microchip looks like inside a cat, I have a special photo called an x-ray. An x-ray is a special picture that lets us see what we look like under our skin. And this is an x-ray of a cat. Look, you can see under the cat's skin. Look at all of its bones. And can you see that white blob there? That is the microchip. It's tiny, isn't it? Madison and Malika love their cat flap. They're in and out all day. What was your favourite bit about seeing how a cat flap worked? 
Do you remember what you call the special device that goes under Madison and Malika's fur and lets them in the cat flap? That's right, it's a microchip. Did you hear the sound the cat flap made when it opened? And did you see the x-rays showing the microchip in the cat's body? So